You are not going to believe me when I tell you this, but I promise it's true. And good thing I got it on camera to prove it. I had just got done yeeting a jellyfish into the ocean and had to run for my life. But right after, I decided it would be a great idea to go and pet some friendly sea anemones. Did you know that these things are closely related to jellyfish and they even have stinging tentacles? But good thing my meaty claws are too thick to be stung. Unlike my good friend Mr. Krabs here who unfortunately fell victim to this venomous trap. And now for the part you won't believe. I was outside slurping in the thick sticky mud when all of a sudden I found a family of shrimp who were all infested with invasive blood-sucking isopod parasites. I had no choice but to help. This chunky mama had a huge parasite that was about to burst out of her gill flap. We'll save this juicy one for last. But first, we're gonna help her daughter Rita. Hey Rita, don't be afraid. I know I'm a big pink giant, but I'm here to help. We're gonna get this parasite taken off. I've gotta be extra careful when removing these parasites because a lot of these shrimp are molting right now. That means they're outgrowing their shells, shedding them off, and growing new ones. And during this process, their shells are very, very soft and fragile. You're a good shrimpy, Rita. The next shrimpy's name is Cynthia. We're gonna get this parasite removed so we can take a closer look at it. And while I was removing this parasite from Cynthia, the sea chickens were going crazy. I think they wanted to eat Cynthia, but I wouldn't let them. All right, let's get this taken out. And here it is. And if you look closely, you'll see the big female with the small male attached right on top. We'll feed these parasites to the sea chickens in just a second. First, we gotta get Daddy Shrimp's parasite removed as well. And his name is Jeff. All right, Jeff, we'll have you feeling better and back to your family in no time. We'll get this parasite removed and I'll show you what it looks like. That way, if any of your family members get infected again, maybe you can help out and remove them next time. Here we go. Oops, didn't mean to drop it. Here it is. And you can keep it for a souvenir. Okay, it's now time to help Big Mama get her huge, juicy, blood-sucking parasite removed once and for all. We're just gonna move her legs out of the way and carefully lift up her gill flap. I see the parasite now. Oh my gosh, look how red it is. It's like bright red. And there's something underneath. I've never seen these before. Are these baby parasites? Baby shrimp? I have no idea, but I want to find out. So share this post and maybe a marine biologist or another scientist can help us identify what these tiny little creatures are. All right, let's feed those hungry sea chickens because they've been so patient. And be sure to like and follow if you love ocean animals.